and welcome to OBS Studio Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for crafters. I'm Anthony Miss from Mixed Media, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the user interface in OBS Studio. So, you've obviously been brave enough to actually download and install OBS Studio, but where on earth do you go from here? You've actually launched it, and you have been confronted with this completely blank screen. Oh, what on earth do you do next? Well, if you like the contents of this video, please click on my like button, subscribe to my channel, and also click on the notifications button. This will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, without further ado, let's get into the OBS Studio user interface. Right, back to OBS and this, the user interface. Now, when I first started streaming about six months ago, the one thing that really annoyed me was that nothing really stood out on this particular screen, which is the default setting theme. Okay, so to change that, we're gonna go down to settings here. We're gonna click on settings, which is gonna bring up our settings window. We're going to go to the general tab here along to the theme we're going to go on the drop down list this is my personal preference which is the rackney theme and hey presto a couple of seconds later we have color and i think you'll agree with me everything really stands out now on that screen right so all of these windows here are still blank and yes they are windows that you can move to any part of the screen you should so wish now when it comes to streaming i like to use the software almost like I would read a book from left to right. So that's how I'm going to set it, but it's entirely up to you how you set out your user interface. But just to quickly show you, you can drag these windows to the right hand side of the screen, wherever there's a blue part of the screen popping up, you can take your finger off the mouse and you have then docked that window. So I'm just gonna drag that back down here and you can see by going up to the top there, it will also dock there but I'm going to dock mine to the left okay so let's just pop that there you can then increase the size of all of these windows here just by dragging your mouse into the center part there and you can go left to right and likewise you can also change the up and down as well you know you can keep on doing that until you're happy with all of the sizes of the be your personal preference. A other couple of um, preferences that I like is to actually change the audio mixer. Yes, you've got the audio mixer down here, but once you start to add other cameras um, that have their own audio source, you will only be able to fit at least four. You can change that. Just pop your mouse over the actual gauge here, right click anywhere, and then it brings up this window here and then just go to vertical layout and straight away you will see you will easily be able to add loads more audio sources, more cameras or maybe more microphones you actually add in to the sources of OBS. The next thing we're going to change is on the top left hand and that is the scenes. At the moment there is only one scene but with every scene you build a separate line will then come into view but I always find that it's a little bit overwhelming having all of those lines. So what we're going to do is we're gonna change the appearance of that. So just hover over it. Once it's turned blue, you then want to right click on your mouse. This will then bring up a drop down menu and go all the way to the bottom to grid mode. This will then give you a nice large button with the scene name in the middle. And obviously you are going to be able to have loads more scenes in that same window here in OBS Studio's interface. Right, well, I hope you have liked the contents of this video. If so, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notifications button as well, which will notify you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Well, that's all for this video. Please join me again for another one. And as always, thanks for watching.